Okay, we meet again in our new video um, with a new topic here, still in Roots of Equation chapter. So the new topic is, or the new method is called as newton raphson method. So if you look at this figure here, the blue color line is a function, all right? And you can see that this point here is the root. This is the root of this function because it intercepts with the x-axis. Okay, so let's say we have um, an initial guess of xi, all right? And if we draw a tangent to the function of xi at this point, at this point here, we draw a tangent, and then this tangent is extrapolated down to the x-axis, and this intercept of the straight line of the tangent and the x-axis is the estimate of the root, and um, that is the basic basic idea of Newton Raphson. So the formula to calculate newton raphson method is simply this one. Xi plus 1, which is the calculation of the root, equals to Xi, which is the initial guess. Initial guess. Minus Fxi divided by the first derivative of the function. So let's look at the procedure of this newton raphson method. The first one is state initial guess and the stopping criterion. So we need to identify what is the initial guess and we also need to identify the stopping criterion so that this is again an iterative approach so that we know when to stop the iteration. So it is when your EA is less than your ES and you can stop. And the second one is perform first derivative on the function to get your f prime x. So this needs a little background of calculus or mathematics. And the third one is you need to determine your xi plus 1 from this equation, from this formula just now. So this is when the calculation of the root begins, which is this one, your estimated root. Estimated root. And then the next one is calculate EA from this equation. And if your EA is more than your ES, you need to go back to your third step to calculate um, a new value of root for the next iteration. Okay, so it's similar to the previous, previous chapter. It's iterative, it uses this EA, it's similar. The difference is only at the formula. Okay, let's look at one example here. Use newton raphson method to estimate the root of this function employing initial guess of zero. So given here true root. Okay, so this is just an example. So that's why they inform you what is the true correct answer for the root. So you can actually compare your estimation, uh, your estimated root to the true value of the root. And that's why sometimes um, you can calculate your true error. But if you don't know your true answer, you cannot calculate your true error. You can only calculate your approximation error. So first and foremost, you need to work out the first derivative of this function. So if you cannot remember your calculus, please do your revision. Okay, I'm not going to cover calculus in this mm, class. So the first derivative of this function is given here. So you have now um, two formulas now to be calculated in the grand formula. You have this and you have this one. So substitute in the newton raphson equation. So you will end up with this formula. This one, fxi is just simply from this, this f prime xi is just the first derivative of the function. So this one is the formula that you will be using. Starting with an initial guess of x naught equals to zero. And then 
let's continue okay so just now it was fx equals to all right your initial guess is zero okay so f prime x equals to minus exponential negative x minus one so don't ask me where is this from this is just the first derivative of the fx so the first iteration when x not equals to zero so you can calculate your x1 which is equals to x naught minus fx divided by fm f prime x sine so here is 0 minus 1 minus 0 here okay 1 minus 0 divided with just substitute uh, 0 into this equation you will get negative 1 minus 1 so the answer for this is 0 0.5 okay so for the second iteration in which x uh, 1 equals to 0 0.5 you can calculate your x2 x2 is just uh, here x naught you use this one 0 0.5 0 0.5 use the previous value of x okay then this one is you know it's, you have to just substitute 0 0.5 into these two equation all right if you substitute 0 0.5 into this function you will get um, 0 0.10653 and then substitute 0 0.5 into this equation here and you will get negative um, zero oh sorry negative one point six zero six five so here you will end up with zero point five six six three one one zero zero three okay so this will be the estimated root for the second iteration and then you can calculate your next value of x, x3, x4, and so on, and so on, and so on. As long as you use the previous value of x for your next calculation. Please do not stick to this throughout the whole. For each calculation, the next one, you need to use the previous, the freshly calculated value of the x. Right? Okay, so for this example, they just show you um, only four iterations. All right? four iterations here we have 0 0.5 is it the same yes 0 0.5 and the 0 0.566 this is what i show you previously and you can calculate for the third and the fourth calculation so you can see that the approach rapidly converges on the root because you can check the true error of the calculation of course the first one is 100 percent because this is just an a wild guess and then after a while, you can see that the error is reducing and reducing and reducing. So it means that the, your answer is converging, almost approaching to the true root. This is not true root, but it's almost, okay, almost approaching to the true root. Okay. So you can try this. Use newton raphson method to determine a root of fx equals to this value using x0 initial guess of 0 0.5. Perform the computation until your EA is less than your ES, which is 10%. So I want you to do this on your own and um, we will discuss about the answer. Right? Thank you.